So I want you to just have a listen to this girl speak and before, when the nodules were there, have a listen. And also watch the fear on her face, because I can remember going through this at 28 years of age. Have a look at the fear and her off mic going, I've got to swallow, is this going to come out? You have a look at this video. Tina, do you want to just come up here and have a chat to her? Please welcome Tina. Little Lisa. Hi. Um, at that, that, that time when Talia was um, learning that, she was taking vocal lessons for about two years. She was in the choir for her school and she was also in the regional choir. She was a soloist in that choir and she was also part of the talent identification program that the state government schools had put together. We had five different people telling us five different things. And as a parent, you don't know. You don't know which one to believe. So if they said, oh, she might have a cold or she might sort of be a little bit froggy, you tended to listen to what they were telling you. Wendy Tierney, um, Marion put it politely, she actually bailed me up out of my car and said, you take her to the doctor now. You stop her singing now. So that's what we did. We went to the um, ear, nose and throat specialist a little bit after that, I think it was, and she had already developed vocal nodules at 10. So he told her, no singing, three months, no talking. This kid sings in her sleep. <laughs> you try and get a 10 year old to stop singing. But she did what Marion told her. We went first to Marion. Marion had her doing vocal exercises for those three months and only vocal exercises. She did nothing else. Five days a week. She now does approximately 54 minutes of warm-up before she sings a note, any song. And she's very different now. At, during that performance, she would say, Mum, I don't know if I'm going to hit the note. I don't know if there's going to be anything that comes out. I'd sit in the audience and I'd hold my breath and go, Dear God, is there going to be any sound when she opens her mouth? At the end of it, she'd pull it through and she'd be so sore. You know, so, yeah, we're very grateful to Marianne and her program, so thank you, my love. Just